Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Snow Runner. Today I am not doing a contract or a task. This is actually a mod review. Now it's not for this. We all know what this is. It's the F750. We all got hyped up over it. When it first came out and they let us down with the engines and so on and so forth. But today we're taking a look. It's hidden away in the garage here. You already know what it is that we're going for because you've seen it in the title and that's why you've paid attention to this video. So I hope I do it justice and let's begin by jumping in the garage. And here it is everyone. This is the Azov 7330 and this is by someone called Silent Laconic. Now he's the one that's made this. As you can see it's a variant of our old fire truck that we used to pull out. So let's go into customizations. Obviously, engines. Now there's a lot of engines. So as you can see, they all start off with the 740 and work their way down. Now this thing has a lot of power to be stuck in. So we go. We start off obviously with an A to an A plus. We've got an S an S plus, another S plus, another one, and back down to an S. I'm actually gonna go with the 642-420. Stick that in there. Gearbox wise, we'll go off-road. Suspension. As you can see, there's suspension for large crane and raised. I'll go with the raised. I'm gonna delete that actually. Tie wise there's not much tie wise we start with 47s and 50s. There is a new set of tyres called the Karma 01 25s. They do them in a 47 and in a 50. You know me go big or go home so we'll stick those on. Sorry I've got to show you the mud tyre section it's pretty much what we're all used to and chained we've got the karma once again just studded winch options we'll have the high powered we'll get rid of that to get a bit of cash back spare wheels is already fitted as standard snorkel all the usual ones stick with the stock right this is where it starts getting interesting the frame add-ons we can carry the long um, the long logs there and also those giant sequoia trees. We've got the loading crane, flatbed, the long flatbed which carries three if I'm not mistaken. Fan body add-on, sideboard bed, the long sideboard bed, fuel tank, extended, sideboards which once again the long one carries three and this this is called the evacuator. Now this is basically just a roll back bed, but with a little bit of a difference. So I'm gonna stick that on there. Go through the list still. The Iron 50, as we know, the saddle high and the saddle low. Not interested in them. Front side, angle sun riser, rear fenders that I don't think anybody uses anymore. Front bumpers. We got the axle protector, the reinforced bar, hinged and heavy duty pipe. I'm going to go with the hinged, just so it looks a little bit cleaner really. Miscellaneous cabin air conditioners, small parking lights, side chrome parking lights and twin horns. Nothing really there. Something they haven't added to this that I have noticed is that there's no uh, fog lights or even fog lights with beacons. So exhausts, we've got the wedge cap, the muzzle, the flap cap, and the stock. I'm gonna go with the wedge. Get my money back off the stock one. Rims, just the rims that come with these tire sections, uh, selections, sorry, not sections. Colors, all the usual culprits in here couple of multicolour ones down at the bottom. Nothing much to write home about there. 
I'm going to go with the cream. Visualizations, we've got the bobble heads, the accessories, the stickers, and exterior stickers. You've all seen those now, so I'm not going to bother. Right, so I'm going to leave the garage. And then what I'll do, I'm going to pull up here. Maybe a little bit closer over. Let's just put that handbrake on. Right, with the engine running, I find it best working from this side of the vehicle because the controls can get a little bit fiddly. So go down to use the evacuator. And it says use forklift. So anyone that's used to the forklift controls is going to know. So LT or lower it, RT to raise. That's why I say use it from this side. And then your left stick, you're just going to push back. And you're probably saying Cerberus, there's nothing new about that. So as you carry on pushing back, once it's got to its limit, hold your RT button again. And this is where it's different from the other rollbacks. You can now drop it right down to the floor. If you use your left stick again, nope, I tell a lie. Which one was it? Yeah. Press L. You can actually push it right back. Yes, it'll be a bit of an angle, but you've got that option of pushing it right out there. So bring it in nice and close. Still getting used to the controls myself. So if we pull it in nice and close there, what we'll do, we'll back out now. We'll go to change truck. There's a ball on part right here. Now I'm not 100% certain with these wheels whether or not they'll actually pack. These wheels might be, these tyre options might be a little bit too wide for it. But we will see. Roll it up onto there. That's not really straight. Let's try again. That's a little better. Turn the engine off. Let's change truck. Now will it pack? No, it won't pack with that. Right, guys. That's purely because I reckon just the tyre options themselves. It's nothing to do with the truck not working. So, let's throw that over in the corner there. Jump down to our submenu real quick. I really wish that they shorten these submenus. Just let us choose the top menu. And then open it from underneath. We'll move over, leaving the F750. It's one of the reasons why I brought this out, just in case. I did want to try it with the Azov just to see whether or not with those crossies. As you can see, it looks shaded and blended into the, the surroundings there, but it is there. There we go. Right up. Engine off. And there you go. Pack truck. Use the activator. No, wrong one first. We'll pull that. I didn't put the handbrake on, did I? <laughs> Can't put it on at the moment. Not to worry. And there you go, one loaded up truck. Close that window. And yep, on your way. So bear in mind, if you're trying to rescue a truck with quasi wheels, 
this probably isn't the vehicle for you. Power wise, yeah, it's okay. It's not an absolute speed demon, but it's a recovery vehicle. It's not meant to go fast. It's faster than some of the other trucks that are out there. So it's got all wheel drive, it's got diff lock. We've seen all the other accessories that we can add to it. So yeah, all in all, a very nice truck. Over the road here. So on the tarmac, the asphalt on the road, whichever way you want to describe it, it handles pretty well. Rolls around just a little bit. So what's off over here? damage taken, I think major. Swing round. Like I said, from this camera angle it's easier to do. Make sure that the the handbrake's on this time. We'll go down to the Escalator, evacuator, sorry, I keep saying escalator for some reason, I've got no idea why. So, it's right on the left stick. I'm going to want to raise it up. Oh, we've hit the picnic bench. Trust me to find the one spot. Hopefully, it will just crush it. Now it's just going to sit there up in the air. Stupid table out of the way. Now it breaks. That's about right. So like I said, now I want to pack the truck. Use the excavator. Let's change this time a little bit. There we go. Use pack. you can if you're not careful there you go close that unpack the truck run this off here change it's a shame that there isn't a recovery section for it like you would have with a normal crane slide that over And there you have it guys, that's the as of 7330, like I said this is in the mod browser at the moment, uh, it's about 480 megabytes for any of you that are still struggling with this memory issue that they're having with mods, they seem to be getting it straightened out slowly, but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video guys, if you have don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you already haven't, hit the notifications bell, keep you up to date on everything that I release. 
until the meantime guys thanks for watching stay safe i'll see you in the next one